Ladies and gentlemen of Deerfield Beach, Florida, inside the DS Sportsplex, and everyone watching worldwide on Flow Combat. Get ready. It's main event time. And the following main event will be brought to you by the law offices of Matthew Glassman and HateJail.com. And it is to crown a brand new XFN amateur featherweight champion. Introducing first in the blue corner, standing at five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145.4 pounds. With a record of seven wins and five losses. And fighting out of American Top Team, Jesus. Black Box, and representing Bayamon, Puerto Rico. He is one. Rodriguez. And his opponent. In the red corner, standing at five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145.8 pounds, with a record of eight wins and two losses, and fighting out of the goat chair in Miami, Florida, and representing Pembroke Pines, Florida. He Glad is we have your the XFA no amateur. This place covers the roof because it is gone. Holy cow. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. You want a clean fight. Shake hands now if you want to. Step back. I got a microphone I can't even hear myself, Sean. What? What? Three what? rounds right here. Your main event for the XFN 145-pound amateur championship. Ryan Cues. Juan Rodriguez, we are underway with round number one. Hughes on top of me, Lee and half guard. Looking to retain full guard is Rodriguez. Puerto Rican will, is going to have a hard time working from underneath this guy. He's looking for that R bar, as he should be. Right hands from Hughes. Hard right hands from Hughes, left hands from Hughes. This may be over before it starts. Cues lands a big shot right here. Rodriguez finally back to full guard. Cues is not slowing down on the ground and pound. Guard lock for Rodriguez, forcing Cues to address it. Climbing the guard high, looking for the arm bar. Cues is out. Cues just unstoppable with his ground and pound here. Completely unbothered by anything that Rodriguez is showing him right now. Rodriguez may want to take advantage of that, set up a triangle here. Like, like watching a rabid chimp beat up his dinner. 100% reminds me of Kevin Randleman, and that ain't a bad thing at all. Just aggressive, aggressive ground and pound from Q's High taking a second to breathe. Yeah. Rod Rodriguez. Yeah, got to break that posture to stop those shots from coming down. Chief Sweep, coming. Can Rodriguez get on top? No, he cannot. Cues follows the hips and stays on top. That bump, that that bump triangle would have worked perfect yeah. right there. Yep. Cues taking Rodriguez right to his corner, and getting coaching from his coach right there, face to face. Best place to be. We're gonna work to pass the guard here. Got one leg tucked in a butterfly, looking to stuff it and go to half. Regarding is Rodriguez, but his head's against the cage. This is not where you want to be. It's an aggressive ground and pound fighter. Kicking away as Rodriguez on the single leg needs to get on top. About a minute left here in the first round. Rodriguez back to the cage. Cues head positioning with an underhook. 
Another takedown for Cuse. Looks to go Easy. right to Mount. Yeah. Easy takedown. Looking to go right to Mount. Rodriguez seconds. gives the back, and this one might be all over here. Cues with that Dagestani handcuff throw on the right hand. Switching the left hand now. Rodriguez may have a Kimura lock here. He does have it. He needs to advance his position. He at very least stopped the punch, but very good job of sweeping. There's the triangle. Not able to pull it off. Looking for the Oma Plata. Cage is going to be in the way. Yeah, but he can get the sweep. Not enough time to do anything with it. Seven seconds or less. Wow, round number one ends with Ryan Cues on top, as it was for most of the round. Some flashes of jiu-jitsu from Rodriguez, but the first round was primarily all Cues. One in the book for the champ. Yeah, I can see that being a 10-8 round. A lot of ground to pound for three minutes, that is for sure. Well, actually, there was some, there was some, yeah, uh, some good attacks off the back. Good, good attacks off the back. So maybe not a 10-8, but I wouldn't be mad if they did. I don't think a 10-8, but a solid 10-9 performance with damage from Ryan Hughes, if you ask me. What I want to know is where is this third street? And how many people live on there? Jesus. Seconds are out. Paul Rodriguez, uh, excuse me, Juan Rodriguez. There's somebody else from uh, <laughs> named Paul Rodriguez. I do apologize. Juan Rodriguez giving Q something to respect on the floor. Paul Off Rodriguez his back. is at a comedian. <laughs> yeah. Also a uh, former fighter as well, Paul Rodriguez from Orlando. Round number two underway. Rodriguez coming to get him some. Q's waiting. Nice right hand. Not the usual vigor we see in Cuse's strike. A good leg kick from Rodriguez and a nice right hand from Cuse. Single leg sprawled out hard. Rodriguez still looking to reel it in. Good job of crotch locking and butt dragging there from Cuse. Oh, uh, he checked his oil. Court low. Rodriguez still on that single. Got to make something out of nothing. Building his base very well, but a good sprawl back down from Cuse. Back up to his feet again is Rodriguez. Bails on the underhook. When you go from a single leg to a body lock, you know you, 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 know you missed it. Cuse reverses right away. Cuse is a huge 145. He's a big 145 with a good outside trip. That is for sure off that cage. Elbows here would be dangerous, not legal for amateurs. Nice little face frame there with the forearm. There's some shots. Got the, got the arm trapped there with the leg. This might be academic, Blake. Nope. Nope. Rodriguez. Good job of recovering. Rodriguez is a tricky little ground fighter. Yep. Not going to win a fight off the back unless you get a big finish, though. Halfway through the fight here, Q's pumping the pressure. Slowing down his ground to pound attack. Couple shots there. Now picking better shots. Throwing to throw volume in the first, now throwing to uh, pick his shots a little bit better in the second, it feels like. <clears throat> Both arms tied up. High guard. Yeah, Rodriguez has the hips active here. Hughes looking to pick, punch, pass. Nope, just go to side, uh, half. It could have gone all the way through if he wanted to. Staying in the half, looking for deep half. Got it. Is Rodriguez, got it indeed. The cage is going to stop the sweep, though. Cuse thinking about an arm bar, the cage will stop that as well. Yeah, but he, he can get that Kimura. That is a possibility. We'll see if Rodriguez can tear the arm out or if he can even get on top. He's on top, not a dominant position by any means. Yeah, looking for that little Nog arm bar is Cuse. But uh, doing a good job of trapping the right leg. I didn't notice that. Rodriguez doing a good job of uh, shin Stapling, down. Yeah. yeah. Stapling that right leg down very well. 
Rodriguez going to finish this round on top, but you got to have him down two in the books, though. Wouldn't yeah, you agree? I, yeah, he's down two for sure. He's on top, but he's not on top. Yeah. He's on top, but he's not in a dominant position. Yeah, he's, he's defending a, a, a submission. Yeah. Yeah, some good, some good groundwork from uh, Rodriguez in both rounds, but uh, but uh, both rounds for Cuse. The good, some good groundwork, but the best work done by Cuse for sure. And I don't know where he is, but uh, Elvin Espinoza here live streaming the fight. Come on, Elvin, we make them pay for this, buddy. A lot yep. of people in the cage right now. A lot. Yeah. What, I, cameramen and uh, doctors, lawyers, Indian chiefs, referees, fighters. Holy, holy smokes. Full house. And a little bit of water left on the floor. Round number three. Big left hook from Cues. You gotta tell Rodriguez he's gotta get a finish here. On the single leg. Has not worked for him as of yet. Yeah, Q's just gorilla Man, strength against. He is a big boy. Strong, strong fellow. Inside trip, no go in there. That's the first one accuses takedowns that Rodriguez defended. He did not stop that one. Just big brothered him over that hip throw there with the double unders. Wow. Into the scarf hold. Casey Katami trapping the arm. We could be seeing a model yeah, yeah. beat down here. Good job of going to the dog, he's keeping the let, head. He, he's got to let go of that head. Yeah, he's going to he's going to get hooked by that. Sorry, my catch wrestler came out. Undue pressure on his shoulder there. He's got his hands locked even. Does Rodriguez? Clear in the head now, minute 40 to go. One Hughes has in. one hook in. Looking to go to work with that right hand. Back to his feet, riding a little high as Hughes. Rodriguez able to turn, get his back to the case, jumping to guilty, does not no have guilty. that. Pulling guard, taking a slam for it, he has to get to work, minute 20. Yeah, that, the, sh that shows some inexperience. Yeah, the fuse is lit. The chance to win slowly slipping away. The sands of the hourglass getting away with about a minute left for Juan Rodriguez. How will Q's address the last minute of the fight? He's up two rounds to nothing and probably already won this one. Good shot, armbar coming. This will be Rodriguez's last hope, I believe. He needs to go right to the triangle right here, Blake. He's, he's got Q's defending the armbar. Yeah. He should go to the triangle. Q's gonna slam out of that. Rodriguez still with it. Yeah. That made me nervous, Blake. Yeah. Rodriguez, yeah, he pointed his head at the ground. What, what was he thinking? I don't know, Rodriguez pointed his own head down. 15 seconds left. Triangle coming, too little, too late. Cuse has to know he's got it. He could back away and win this one. Up kick's coming. Right hand from Cuse into the guard, and that is going to be all she wrote. That is a wrap with our main event here. You got to have it. Three rounds of none for the Third Street Savage. No other way. No other way.